Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go over all of the books that I want to read before 2023. Now I had this goal in mind to read 50 books this year and I'm pretty dead set on finishing it, but I've been pretty bad about reading books these past couple months, so I've got to read a lot to get there and I have almost every single book I want to finish reading in front of me, so I'm going to pick them up and show you which ones I'd like to read. Um, maybe they'll give you some ideas, and then at the end of the year when I do a wrap-up of all the books I read in a year, I'll be able to tell you what I thought of them. So this is a little bit of motivation for me, and hopefully entertaining for you, because I really like watching these videos myself. So the first book is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Um, I feel like every single person has read this book, and as a lover of Shakespeare, of Hamlet, I can't believe I haven't read it myself. But I am really looking forward to reading this book. I've had it on my shelf for most of 2022, and I'm excited to see what it's about. Also, I'm going to stop for a second just to take my glasses off because <laughs> I think it's gonna bother me if I keep them on. So let me take them off for you. The next book is one I just got yesterday on Black Friday. It's called Dear Juliet, Letters from the Lovestruck and Lovelorn to Shakespeare's Juliet and Verona. And I'm so excited to read this book. It includes 60 letters, like real letters from people who wrote to Juliet, from Romeo and Juliet as well as a couple of replies from uh, the Juliet Club, and I'm just excited to see uh, what kind of influence the character Juliet had on these people's lives. Also in the front of the book is a letter that you can send yourself to Juliet if you wish to, and I look forward to doing that when I'm finished reading this book. So very excited about this one. A bit of a novelty, but it looks really fun. The next one is one that I need to read soon. It's called Diana Iverson's Rules for Commuting by Claire Pooley. Um, I'm actually going to have to read this for a book club and we're meeting on December 6th. So I'll be reading this within the next couple weeks. The next book is Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I don't know how to pronounce the author's name, um, but I've heard about this book since Jack Edwards talked about it. And he might have talked about it at the end of 2020. I don't know. It was in 2020 or 2021, I believe, that he talked about it. It sounded intriguing from the beginning, and I just love the look of the cover. And I saw it today and picked it up. Next is Crime and Punishment. I've also wanted to read this book for a really long time. I think I'm really going to enjoy this book. Um, but I waited to buy it until I got this super cool uh, copy. It is a Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition, and yeah, I'm really excited to read this. It's kind of a mammoth of a book, but I feel like maybe with some audiobook interspersed in, I'll fly through it. The next book is a Year in the Life of William Shakespeare, 1599 by James Shapiro. I've actually read this book once already, but I did take extensive notes while I read it, and I want to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. The next book is No Longer Human, which I got at the top of 2022, literally on like just, uh, January 2nd or something like that. Um, this book is considered kind of like a contemporary classic, um, I actually read about the first half of it the very first night that I got it and I was like holy crap this book is so good but I decided to save it and I really like I just want to read it now. Um, I feel like it's kind of the perfect book to read for this time of year, uh, the colder months and I'm just so excited. The back of it has this quote from the book, which says, mine has been a life of much shame. I can't even guess myself what it must be to live the life of a human being. And that's a sentiment that I've related to a lot this year, so I'm looking forward to relating to this book and hopefully learning something from it, right? Next, I have a throwback book, Chasing Vermeer by Blue Ballot. I read this book when I was really little, probably like eight, 
and I just remember really loving this series, but I don't remember like anything about it. So I just want to read through this book. It'll be a quick read. Probably literally will take me like an hour and a half to read, but I really want to read it. The next book I have is I Kissed Sarah Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. I've read Casey's other books and I finally broke down and bought this one. I've been thinking about buying it for a while, as for as long as it came out. And um, I'm just so excited to read it. I haven't spoiled anything, so I don't know anything that happens, but if it's Casey McQuiston, I'm almost sure to love it. So I can't wait to read I Kiss Sarah Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. So something about me is I'm not a romance lover, but I do love a good Christmas romance. I don't know why, I just do. And so I picked up Once Upon a December by Amy E. Reichert? I don't know. <laughs> I should not even try to pronounce these authors' names. But Once Upon a December is the one I picked up. Um, it says, an absolutely perfect holiday hug. When I read the back of it, it sounded like just cheesy enough that I would enjoy it. And, you know, it'll be a quick read. Uh, excited to read this one. Nothing like a good Christmas romance. <laughs> the next one is called Suicide Notes. Um, I picked this one up at the beginning of 2022 as well, um, when I went shopping at Barnes & Noble in January with one of my friends, and I thought it just looked really interesting. The back says, 15-year-old Jeff wakes up on New Year's Day and finds himself in the hospital. Make up the psychiatric ward. Clearly, there's been a huge mistake. Aside from the bandages on his wrist, there's no reason why Jeff should be here. He's perfectly fine. He doesn't need to spend an hour every day talking to a therapist or acting out skits about feelings with the other teens on the ward. But a funny thing happens at Jeff's 45 days, as Jeff's 45-day sentence drags on. He realizes he's not as different from his fellow patients as he first thought. This reminded me a little bit of, um, ooh, what's it called? A Danger to Herself and Others, that's the book. It reminded me of A Danger to Herself and Others, the synopsis, and I absolutely loved that book. So I'm excited to see where this one goes. The next one that I found at Goodwill um, is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Uh, this is one that I started, like I, I, you know, read the free pages on Amazon and then I found it for $2.99 at Goodwill in perfect condition, hardcover. I wanted to read it anyway and I'm gonna read this before 2022 is over. I know she has another one coming out, so listen, or that just came out, so I've gotta finish this one. And what a deal. It was originally $32.50, so can't believe I got it for $2.99. The next one is a controversial book, A Little Life. I have heard mixed things. Either this book is like the most influential, beautiful thing you've ever written, or it's trauma porn, disgusting, it should not be on shelves. So I'm excited to see where I land in that kind of mix. Again, it's kind of a mammoth, but I wanna finish it before 2022 is over. Yeah, guys, wish me luck. I know this is a lot of books. We're gonna do it though. We are gonna do it. And we're gonna make some good videos too. The next one I have is a Ruby Granger recommendation from a while ago. And then I saw it, my library was doing like a used book sale and the books were like two bucks. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I remember Ruby saying this was a great book. It is, we need to talk about Kevin. I have no idea really what it's about. I just picked it up because Ruby Granger said that it was good and whatever she says is the truth um, because she's a genius. So I'm just trusting her. I'm hoping she's right. I'll let you know. The next one I have is City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. Elizabeth Gilbert is the author of Eat, Pray, Love, which I read in 2020 actually. Um, and I thought Eat, Pray, Love was fine. I was more impressed with the writing than the actual personality of the author um, because I felt like she was kind of unaware of how much privilege she had and 
almost annoyingly so. So I'm excited to see like what her realistic fiction looks like um, because I did really enjoy her writing style. It was just like her ignorance to the fact that she was so legitimately privileged that I kind of found annoying. Um, but I'm excited to read this. Uh, my friend gave it to me for free. So, I mean, hey, why not? It looks intriguing. Again, not one I know a lot about, but people says it's vibrant, sexy, and wise, so we'll see if people is correct. Just two more here. <laughs> I have Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. This is one of my friend's favorite books of all time. Rachel, if you're watching this, I'm looking at you. Um, yeah, I am excited to read this one. I've wanted to read it for a long time. To me, like the cover and just the title and the fact that it's like kind of a dark brooding book from what I've heard makes it seem like the perfect winter read. So excited to read this one. I will probably like Crime and Punishment also read a lot of it with an audiobook. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this, uh, this book. And then the last book that I have is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. Now I've read like six chapters of this book about two years ago and it wasn't that I didn't like it I just got caught up with other books and then again this was one at my library's used book sale and then I got the hardcover before I was reading like a version on my iPad and those are usually ones that I, I DNF um, not even because I don't like them but because I don't like reading on an iPad so now that I have a hardcover version I'm excited to read this and it does feel like more of a book that I want to read at the end of a year instead of the beginning of a year so those are all of the books that I want to read before 2022 is over let me know if you have any books that you want to read before 22 2022 is over down below in the comments and Wish me some luck if you'd like for me to get through all of these books. It is gonna be a challenge, but you know what? We're gonna do it because I don't give up here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.